Hello ladies and gents, how you doing today? My name is TJ Johnson, aka Young Boss Man. Today I will be persuading you on the subject of why Division One athletes should be paid. I have three big reasons in this and I will list them throughout my presentation and then at the end, you know, I'll just break them down a little bit more clear for you, mainly like a thesis, just a summarization basically. For the most part, I feel like collegiate athletes live a lot different than regular students. Regular students, I'm not knocking the way that you guys live, but most regular students go to sleep late, get to wake up late, unless they have early classes. They have a lot of time within the day to study and become 4.0 type of students. And I feel like, yeah, we do, we, we, we do exceptionally well in the way that we process and we, we study things and how we we get ready for everything, but I feel like it's an unfair advantage. And to that, me being a college athlete, I feel like we should be paid on the simple fact that we work just as hard as NFL players do. That's my first point. Number two, we have to maintain the GPA. That's just like a regular student. Number three, we also go through the struggles of life that people go through. We are on scholarship, but we also need spending money. We also need those type of things. And especially if we're killing our bodies the way that we do, I think we definitely deserve it. Um, so I'll start off with my first. We work hard. NFL, you know, there's a lot of people from Rutgers that are now in the NFL. You got Ray Rice, um, a good friend of mine who's getting ready to go to the draft right now, Muhammad Sanu. Um, Mo always worked hard. And now that Mo's getting ready to go into the next level, he'll be able to give me a bigger picture for some of the guys that come back. Um, Jeremy Zuta. Um, John Freedy, they all come back and they talk about the the passionate sport that football is and they talk about how much harder than they work in college than they do in the NFL. Now they may not work as hard when it comes to like film studies because once you get older you, you become wiser and you realize that you need to use the film room a lot more. But as far as killing your body, how practice goes, NFL you know, during the season, they may go through practices and they may not wear any equipment at all. We go through at least three times a week, um, full pads, if not full pads, then shells, which shells is shoulder pads and helmet, and we're, we're out there thudding each other up, risking concussions, risking shoulder injuries, risking in injuries that, you know, a normal student won't go through, but that's just a part of the game, and I understand that. Um, we really work hard at what we do, and we give it our all, and a lot of NFL players are saying that we work harder than them. Then why not be, you know, why not get paid like they do? Not like they do. I don't want to, you know, in college get a million dollars. I don't think we need that at all. I'm not saying that. But to get some spending money and get some money to help us out on the side would be a big part. And it will be a big accomplishment. Some people that come to college don't have the money right away. They're not financially safe. You know, they grew up in neighborhoods where they did not, their, you know, their parents just could not give them the money that they need. Um, they worked hard their entire life at a sport, and they got the opportunity to get a scholarship, but the scholarship does not cover everything. And if we're working just as hard as the next level is working, then I feel as though we should, you know, we should get some kind of pay. Second thing, we as collegiate athletes, we take pride in our grades. Now, we have nowhere near the same amount of time that a regular student will have. A regular student has time for days. They have whatever they feel like doing on a certain day they can do. You know, some, some students work, and I understand things like that. You have to do that. But as far as it goes, like, as regular time, you know, as a collegiate athlete, I could just tell you one of my schedules for today, matter of fact. Um, I had to get up from 6 to 7 was breakfast. 7.45, we had to be dressed for practice upstairs in the meeting room. 7.45 to 9, 9.55, excuse me, 8.55. We were in meetings rooms just going over things that would be going on in practice, uh, some more coverages. I'm sure offense would be going over their plays. And then we go outside. We're outside from 9.15 practicing until 12-something. Then I got out at 12-something, and I wound up having crim justice at 1.40, just off the top of the, the dome right there. That just lets you know what my morning was like. That my morning just got started, and you know I've ate, eaten breakfast already. I've went out and collided with people who weigh uh, 50, 60 more pounds than me, and 20 pounds lighter at the same time. But I've given 
this is what I've got and I've fought for this already and I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning grinding and working hard and you might you might be up when I get out of practice at 12 so that's just like off the top of the dome right there you may be up as a regular student you know and then after that we got I had crimp justice at 1 140 and after that I had tutoring for my Xbox class so that just lets you know the time of the day you know, you get out of class at 3 and then you got to go to tutoring right then and there because you have to maintain that GPA. There is there is no letdown. Um, if you have below a 2.0, then this all gets taken away from you. All the hard work that you have put in, it, it's not there. And I just feel like a little rewarding wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't be too bad. Um, with 10 hours of study hall as an athlete, then the, the demanding hours that we do in the weight room on the field and the film room on our own and the treatment room taking care of ourselves we really don't have time for our own selves and we don't have a lot of time to study so just saying just saying that if we work very hard in the classroom we try to do things but sometimes time management is an issue and I feel like you know a reward wouldn't be too bad for that and my third and final topic to talk about is just the simple fact of the stress that we put on our bodies and just being a regular student just like everybody else um we go through things, but when regular students go through things and they go through maybe, you know, a death in the family, which is tragic, and God forbid that that would happen to anyone, but when they go through things like that, you know, maybe they can take some time off for a while. They don't have to go to class. They're not directed to go to class. You don't have to go to every class as a Rutgers student to pass. You know, they have things like Sakai and um, lesson plans so that you can work on things on your own as a college athlete you know I just went through you know my aunt Rachel passing away rest in peace and um I just had to keep it rolling you know I shed a few tears I thought about it for a little while and I had to continue rolling on with my day and you know it, it, sometimes it just you need a break but we don't get a break we really we really don't it's just simple as that um some of the you know next that kids get to do they get to go out on thursdays and fridays night and just have a good time with their friends they don't necessarily have to be out drinking and partying we don't get those luxuries sometimes we may get to go out on saturday but then again we still got to get up sunday and do something go to church and um you know later on we get we'll have study hall there's always something on our itinerary to do um i just feel like you know we work extremely hard and we do things and we're just like other people but our our schedule is just that much harder. I feel like it's, there's nothing wrong with a reward. And in conclusion, I just like to say we work as hard as NFL players. We maintain good grades. And here at Rutgers, we have the highest APR as a as a football team. You know, out of, out of all public schools, and then in private schools, I think we were second, only behind maybe Princeton. So you know, I just want to say we work hard at that. And then third, we are regular people, and we do go through things that regular people go through. But when we go through them, we don't get to take those breaks. We don't get that that are necessary. We don't get to take those breaks that are needed, those breaks to heal those wounds. We don't get to do those. So I would just like to say um, thank you for listening. I hope that directed you towards what I was trying to get get proven, that Division One athletes, and this is just not for football. This is for baseball, basketball, uh, field hockey, soccer, any sport. We work hard. We grind, and I feel like, you know, there wouldn't be bad if we got an extra $50 a week. Some, some small. I'm not asking for too much, but, you know, hey, uh, thank you for listening. Um, again, I'm TJ Johnson, a.k.a. 